Hi folks, Rick Waddell here. I'm the Chief Investment Officer at RFG Advisory in Birmingham. We thought we would come to you with a brief uh, market update, kind of let you know what's going on out there. Uh, markets have had a tough couple of days. We saw a uh, three, three and a half percent sell off in the S&P on Monday, uh, followed by a small modest sell off today, down about 4170 for a level. The NASDAQ is actually flirting with uh, bear market territory down 20% on the year. Um, the Dow's not hung in a little bit better than that, but um, it's interesting times out there. The market is clearly displaying a fear response. And, you know, as we've talked about before, when we tend to get into market crises like this, we see uh, black swan events. So uh, the most recent one was the price of nickel, uh, which increased by 250%, halted trading. Uh, it turns out that if you're a producer of nickel, uh, you tend to sell uh, the commodity forward uh, as a way to hedge your own production exposure. Uh, and as the price of nickel tends to spike, you wind up with a little bit of a short squeeze uh, driven by the producers of nickel having to cover their own shorts. Um, these type of black swan events are not uncommon, and we should be expecting the unexpected on a go-forward basis, whether it's spikes in oil prices, whether it's inflationary pressures, whether it's you know a random bank that winds up with derivative exposure or bond exposure that they uh, you know reveal. Um, these types of events will happen when you know we get a little turbulence in the markets. Um, and so, you know, for a little bit of time, as we've said before, you should expect the unexpected. It makes it very difficult uh, to try and trade and time the markets. Um, it's not something that you should think about doing. And it also means that uh, for a while, uh, the rumor is going to be worse than the news. Um, we have the sort of classic fear response going on, uh, you know, people flocking to gold and treasuries and other safe haven assets, um, staying away from risk. Uh, once we actually define what that risk or what that downside is, you normally see a little bit of a relief rally. So um, in real news that's out there, the U.S. banned Russian oil imports. Uh, that's about 8% of our uh, energy imports. We import very specific products for them. We will be able to find other sources. Uh, what is more sort of concerning to the market or more disruptive to the market is the notion that Europe might actually ban Russian energy imports um, which would be a huge step for them. It's not something they can do all at one, uh, all in one go. They would actually have to um, do that phased in over time, over the course of several months, years, uh, potentially, um, given their dependence on Russia oil uh, and the supply chains, the established supply chains, which we've talked about before. So um, it will be interesting to see how that plays out and develops. Um, in the meantime, you know, we just advise all clients to continue to, you know, stay the course. Uh, you know, you have bonds and the safe havens in your portfolio for a reason. Now is the time uh, to let them do their jobs. Um, and we will continue to evaluate whether or not it's time to rebalance your portfolios. Uh, and you and your advisor uh, can continue to evaluate that on a go forward basis. But um, now is not the time with, you know, three, four, five percent intraday moves to try and get cute uh, on jumping in or out of the marketplace. Um, with that, as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me or to your advisor. Um, I hope you're having a great day and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you for tuning in. And if you're enjoying this content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post more.